Hey guys, it is another week of our Adopt a Dog Month training segments. This is Bowser. I knew you guys wouldn't be able to wait until the end of the training video for us to announce Mr. Bowser. He is a 10 week old little, uh, little lab mix and he is the sweetest thing ever. So he is He's gonna be with us for the, the rest of the video, but I knew you guys wouldn't be able to wait until the end to meet this sweet little guy. <laughs> yes, yes, you're a good boy. Today we're going to be discussing the importance of spaying and neutering our pets. Now, of course, the one great thing that comes from not spaying and neutering our pets is puppies like Bowser, and they're so sweet and so fine, but the amount of homeless dogs in our country, in our community, and in our city are astronomical, and it is really, really awful to see puppies grow up in a shelter. And so the best way to combat that is by spaying and neutering, and it's a very valuable and important thing for our dogs' lives. So um, one of the wonderful things that we will be introducing for our community is our, our puppy programs here at Henstone Humane. And one of those will be a puppy socialization class. So in that class, it'll be, it'll be like a 45 minute to an hour long class where we can have lots of puppies come in together. And it's basically a puppy play group. Um, during that time, I will discuss with moms and dads the importance of socialization and all of the different aspects of that. So that's more than just dogs meeting other dogs, which I think is a lot of the time what people believe. Um, it's introducing our dogs to different stimuli, to scary noises in, in very responsible ways, um, to letting them meet people, letting them go to doctor's offices and vets and uh, dog parks and all of these things that are valuable if we want to continue that throughout the dog's life. Um, these things can be scary if we don't start them young, and so this is a very valuable thing that we can offer them. Even them coming to this new room and getting to play in a different room is very valuable and it helps them understand the world a lot better. Come here, yes! Yes, so uh, Mr. Bowser is about 10 weeks old and this is about the age that we want to start doing training in home. That's, this is about the age where they really start getting it and we can start doing things like the, the stationing and the eye contact exercises that we've talked about in previous weeks. Um, and then uh, when they're a little tiny bit older, what we'll be able to do is offer our puppy pre-K class. So it's another class we'll be offering here at Hinsdale. It will be a four week class where we talk about how to train our dogs to be dogs uh, in the house. So we talk about things that are pretty, pretty normal for puppy behavior. We talk about chewing, we talk about potty training and things like that. All of the, the standard puppy things that we have to deal with as puppy owners. Come here, do you want to change? Do you want to work? Do you want to work? So this week, Mr. Bowser ate dinner right before uh, our training session, so he's not super interested in food. We're gonna see if we can't get him to do a little something something for us. Oh, do you want to eat? Are you gonna eat it? Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes. Oh, oh no. Only one, only one. So that's a really valuable tip for you guys, um, and all puppy owners for that matter, is we don't wanna feed our dogs right before a training session. If their bellies are full, they're not gonna find very much reinforcement in our treats. This goes for older dogs as well, but when they're puppies, they eat, have to eat so much for them to grow and their bellies get full and they want nothing to do with our treats. So we'll have to wait for a little bit longer and then he'll be able to work again uh, either this evening or tomorrow and that's when we'll get our training done for this week. 